Porsche's PPE platform enables the Macan F to present a big challenge to Tesla and others. We may have come to understand PPE as one thing, personal protective equipment, over the past two plus years, but back in 2018 when Porsche and Audi began developing their own PPE, it meant something entirely different. Four years later, the two Volkswagen Group brand's new premium platform electric modular EV architecture is finally almost ready for prime time. While Audi was the first to preview what PPE would look like underneath the A6 e-tron concept, Porsche invited us to check out the new PPE platform itself and also showed us the early workings of the new 2024 Porsche Macan electric prototype. If what Porsche showed us of PPE is any indication, the new 2024 Macan electric, it's set to be the electron-powered stablemate to the existing gas-drinking Macan, or to make prospective Tesla Model Y, Ford Mustang Mach-E, and Kia EV6 GT shoppers think twice about which premium performance SUV they buy. And despite shared parentage with Audi, the new platform is uniquely Porsche in its ethos. It takes lessons learned from today's Porsche Taycan and implements them in a versatile new platform designed to underpin everything from the new Macan Electric to quite likely the new Porsche 718 electric sports cars. Big new battery, fast charging capability. Most automakers slice their salami with different motor and battery configurations for different models, but Porsche takes a somewhat different approach. All PPE Porsches, beginning with the new 2024 Macan Electric, will sport new 100 kilowatt hour battery packs with 800 volt architecture. Why 100 kilowatt hours? Porsche says a battery pack this size is the best compromise between range and performance. The 800 volt quick charging capability, a technology Porsche helped pioneer in the Taycan, will help bridge any perceived range gaps. Porsche says its initial peak charge speed targets for PPE platform vehicles is a little bit higher than the 270 kW rate the Taycan is now capable of, and that the Macan Electric can charge from 5 to 80% on a 350 kW charger in less than 25 minutes. Given the fact Porsche is investing in a network of public 300 kW chargers exclusively for Porsche owners in Europe, we'd be surprised to see the PPE platform Porsches sport the 350 kW charging rates that 800V systems are theoretically capable of. Stuttgart has some tricks up its sleeves for reducing charging times on slower DC fast charging stations, too. The 2024 Porsche Macan Electric's battery pack is capable of what Porsche calls bank charging. This technology allows the car to split its 800V battery pack into two 400V packs that can charge in parallel which allows for quicker charging than is otherwise possible. PPE Porsches will also be able to dig deeper into their batteries than the Taycan. As automakers like GM have found, DC fast charging hasn't been as hard on Taycan batteries as Porsche initially expected, so the company plans to make a significantly larger portion of the battery usable to owners. The final percentage is still being worked out, but Porsche says between 96 and 98 kilowatt hours of energy could be available to Macan electric owners, with just a small 2 kilowatt hour buffer. The Taycan, in comparison, generally utilizes about 10 kilowatt hours of its 79.2 to 93.4 kilowatt hour battery packs as a buffer. The new 100 kilowatt hour battery pack consists of 12 prismatic cells containing an 8 to 1 colon 1 ratio of nickel, cobalt, and manganese, which Porsche says helps it achieve a higher energy density than the 7 to 1 colon 2 ratio cells in the J1 platformed Taycan. It's too early to talk range, but it's a safe bet to expect at least 300 miles on the stricter EPA range test for the 2024 Porsche Macan Electric. Smaller battery packs are possible with PPE, but it's unlikely the automaker fits a larger one into vehicles on this platform. Another trick up PPE's sleeve is what Porsche calls its integrated power box. Mounted just below where the Macan Electric's rear seats will be, the power box combines the onboard AC charger. DC slash DC converter, and high voltage heater in one compact package, reducing weight, complexity, and costs. Porsche says PPE can also be built with varying wheelbases and widths for a wide variety of new vehicles.